In this class, we're going to practice just in time and just enough learning. Uh, all of the things that we're going to study in this class are large subjects, way larger than you're going to be able to take on in just the amount of time that you have to spend on this course. So my theory, and this, and this is a theory that I've, that I've really worked out over many years of doing many different technologies, is learn just enough. Learn just enough of the mechanics, of the syntax, of the, the technicals, of the, of the tool set that you're using in order to make something happen. So that means instead of going and studying, say, XML schema rules from A to Z before creating your first schema, we're going to create the first schema before you really even understand one-tenth of what, is, what it takes to really create schemas. In that way, you'll learn what you need in order to get the assignments done. You'll learn what you need in order to represent the kinds of information that we're studying in this class, and you won't spend a lot of time understanding parts of the technology that you don't need to know. This is something that I've learned over years and years of doing this kind of stuff. If you start out by saying, I'm going to become an expert in the subject before I begin to use this material, you'll never get to use the material because the subject is too vast. Instead, you have to take the, the outlook that I'm going to learn just enough in order to make the thing that I want to have happen, happen. And no more than that. Because A, there's too much to learn, and B, it's not useful for me to know a lot of things that um, I'm not going to apply, that I may never apply. On the other hand, the other side of that, of that, of that attitude is when it comes time for me to learn something, I will learn it. I will find out, I will figure it out, and I will figure out how to make it work. Make it work just enough to make sure that what I need to have happen happens, but make sure that I can learn it. So you're not going to learn everything there is to know about XML in this class, but I will teach you enough that you'll be able to represent many different kinds of information and that you'll understand how to use that tool set. And then I'll expect that when a new concept comes up, you'll have the wherewithal to go and figure out how to make it happen. That's an attitude that'll keep you sane not only in this course, but throughout your career using different tools. Because as soon as you learn a tool, as soon as you learn a technology, as soon as you learn a programming language, as soon as you learn an API, as soon as you learn any of a vast array of different kinds of technologies that you're going to be called upon to learn, it goes out of fashion and a new one comes in. So learning these tools is really not useful except in as much as you can use them. So we're going to focus on learning just enough. And when you get, um, when you get overwhelmed by the vast amount of information that you might need to know, step back and say to yourself, well, how much do I really need to know in order to make this happen? And understand that all the things that you really need to know are somewhere covered. There should be very, very few times where you have to go out to, uh, say, Google something and figure it out from scratch. There will be some times when you'll have to do that, but more often than not, the thing that you need in order to solve the problem that's presented to you in this class has been presented somewhere before. So understand that we're going to use a, a constrained subset of all of, the in, all of all the knowledge that you may need to have if you're to become an expert. Now certainly some of you will go on and become experts and learn A to Z all there is to know about all the tools that we're using in this class, and that's just fine. But the vast majority of you won't. And the vast, what the vast majority of you will do is learn this now and then promptly forget it. But you need to be able to recover it. You need to be able to figure out how to get something done when you need to get it done. And that's the attitude that we'll take in this class.